Let's solve for x. What we're going to do is we're going to factor out something from the right hand side to make this simpler. So we can write 333 as 111 times 3. We can write 444 as 111 times 4. And we can write 555 as 111 times 5. So this is going to get super interesting because we've got this. And now if we cube a product, we're multiplying 111 three times and 3 three times. So we can other words say this is 111 cubed times 3 cubed. We can say this is 111 cubed times 4 cubed. And we can say that this is 111 cubed times 5 cubed. Okay, so we've got this expansion now here. And we can now factor out something from both sides. From the right hand side at least, we can factor it out and say this is 111 cubed times 3 cubed plus 4 cubed plus 5 cubed. And this is super beautiful because 3 cubed plus 4 cubed plus 5 cubed, what's that equal to? So 3 cubed is equal to 27. 4 cubed is equal to 64, and 5 cubed is equal to 125. 27 plus 64 is equal to 91. 91 plus 125 is equal to 216. So this whole sum is equal to 216, which is nothing other than 6 cubed. That's so elegant, because now we've got 111 cubed times 6 cubed. So we've got x cubed equals 111 cubed times 6 cubed. And you're going to want to watch till the end because I've got something mind blowing for you after this. This is going to equal to 666 cubed. So therefore, x is equal to 666. That is so beautiful that we could solve for x in that nice way. Now, here's something that almost no one knows, and it's so cool, is that the idea of a Pythagorean triple, so something like this, what we can do is you can find these numbers like 3 squared, 4 squared, and 5 squared, which add up like so. And this corresponds to the sides of a right triangle of side lengths 3, 4, and 5. And you can also find others. For example, you've got 5 squared, which is 25, plus 12 squared, which is 144, is equal to 169, which is 13 squared. So you've got a right triangle with whole number side lengths that have side lengths 5, 12, and 13. There is a way of finding a formula for all possible Pythagorean triples, all possible right triangles with whole number side lengths, an explicit formula for all of them. And it's going to be so cool, and almost no one knows this. You want to check this out, it's going to pop up on the screen here. It uses circles and lines and beautiful and elegant geometry. So check, that, check out that video next. I'm going to see you there. It's taught typically in graduate level math, but it's so accessible, can be understood by pre-calculus high school students. I'm going to see you in that video.